And that just kind of changed. Like I began to realize that I think God wanted us to do a whole lot more. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. On the bright side, yeah, this music here became my only lifeline. Think I'm going crazy, I'm not in my right mind. No. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. Lay them out, please. I'd like to see them side by side. Liberal. Stop it. Go away. It's not food. It is food. Liberal. No puppy. Liberal. Fascist. Don't try to eat that. That's not liberal. We're changing it to make it more, to make it easier. Because it's yeah. fascist, it's liberal. Or, I meant Hitler. Hitler, fascist, liberal, liberal, liberal. Alright, we'll figure that out in a second. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So we have not done an update on our family, on the Mer Squad in quite a while. Actually, I guess since we started doing the vlogs, which was three years ago, crazy to think we've been vlogging for three years and a lot has changed. I mean, obviously we're still the same family, we're still the Merv Squad, but many things have changed. Uh, we didn't really know what we were getting into when we first started vlogging. We were really just kind of documenting our life. We knew that we were trying to achieve certain goals and just trying to raise the boys and they were involved in sports and we just wanted to kind of vlog it really more for a uh, just to have something to kind of remember things by and just to kind of again document the life but since then since the three years um, obviously the boys have gotten bigger they're still involved in sports but things have changed a lot with Lois Ann and I uh, I was a youth pastor three years ago full-time down in Venice Florida well, now I am no longer a youth pastor, but I have set out to achieve one of my goals in life, which was to create my own brand, create my own company, and I did that with Grid Army. And another thing I wanted to do was to start a podcast for Christian teenagers, and I've done that as well, called the Truth for Youth Podcast. Well, I was saying, you had a goal years back, and we'll talk more in detail about it, but Lois well, said, share with uh, the Merv Squad audience what you're doing now so i am the owner operator of chick-fil-a alexander city alabama Woo! Yeah, which means good. we made a big move and <laughs> we're still unsettled as you can see we've sitting in the kitchen in our um our outdoor fire pit yeah. chairs but we haven't seen them yet so they're still indoor Yes, yeah, so you'll notice maybe a different backdrop. We are now in Alabama, like Lois Ann said. Um, and something else that I kind of want our the direction of our channel maybe to go a little bit more towards now that we're kind of figuring out more about, you know, maybe what our family is or what our direction in life is. We are followers of Christ, and no doubt we believe that God has created us for great things, just like He's created you for great things. And a few years ago, I think. Maybe Lois and I both had kind of gotten complacent and maybe just content is maybe the better word. Just content with life. You know, hey, we have boys, we got good jobs, we're just kind of living life now. And that just kind of changed. Like I began to realize that I think God wanted us to do a whole lot more and that he created us for a whole lot more. And that's when I began stretching myself. That's when I began pursuing my dream of creating Grid Army and podcast. And Lois Ann said, you know what? I've always wanted to be an owner operator of Chick-fil-A and began to pursue that. And so we're trying to instill that into our sons. And so guys, what are your goals now? What, what kind of the big goal, maybe in the next few years, or maybe even a bigger picture in life, what are some goals that you have? We'll start with you, Colin, since you're next to me. Um, I want to get a scholarship, either academic or sports, to Auburn, full ride. That's a good goal. I like that. All right, Gavin, what about you? Uh, to make it to the NFL. NFL. Big goals, man. Big goals. And Mike and Jay? Uh, main goal, uh, D1 football. Uh, first goal, scholarship. Maybe not full ride, but at least enough to get me to a couple years to try to earn another scholarship uh, to try to play D1 ball. Right, so, I mean, again, something I think Lois Ann and I realized was you need to set big goals. God's got big things. It doesn't mean things come easy. Believe me, it has not been easy for me. It has been a very long, difficult journey for Lois Ann. And again, we're, we're going to talk a lot more detail about that in another one. But I just wanted you to kind of understand who we are as a family. You know, we love God. We love each other. And we set big goals because we believe God wants us to achieve big things. Not easily through a lot of grit, 
a lot of hard work and a lot of discipline. So what you're going to see with this channel is more about us trying to achieve goals. Lo Sam, now that you've achieved a major goal in life, did your goals just stop? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, obviously, God and the Kathy family has entrusted me to run a, um, uh, this particular location of Chick-fil-A. And I don't want to just stop. I want it to be excellent. And that's part of my vision is for the restaurant to provide excellent service, um, great food, and just provide an exceptional environment and atmosphere when guests come in. So striving to become one of the best Chick-fil-A locations there is, and that's really hard when you're starting from scratch. And we're at a location where there's not other Chick-fil-A's, so really starting from scratch with the team members recruiting and um, just Teaching people the culture that people are accustomed to when they go to Chick-fil-A has been challenging. So hopefully in a year I can give you an update and say, hey, we have, uh, we have accomplished that goal and now we've set new goals. But um, yeah, so it's just exciting to have actually been selected and entrusted to run the restaurant, but now we want to be the, rest, the best restaurant we can be. Absolutely. And like I said, I mean, big goals of mine to create a YouTube channel, to vlog it, did that, create a podcast, did that, start a grit army, did that. But I'm not stopping there. I mean, I'm just, I'm scratching the surface. We want to get a million subscribers. So we need your guys' help for that. I want the podcast to be a major uh, podcast source of people to get truth, biblical truth, and grit army. I mean, yes, grit army's been going for a few years now. We got Cam Dog here uh, acting up, but I want Grid Army to be a major <laughs> athletic, premium athletic brand, and so I'm just getting started. The boys, I mean, obviously they're young. They're setting big goals, which is great, and those goals may change a little bit as they grow and as they develop. And you know, they may achieve one goal and ready to go to the next goal and the next goal and the next goal. So what this channel is going to be is us documenting it. Maybe we achieve better goals, maybe we don't. Um, but we're going to document our process. You're going to see us trying to overcome obstacles, trying to push through, trying to build grit, mental toughness, and keep pushing forward to achieve our goals. And what we really want to do is to help you. How do we help you achieve your goals? I know you have big goals in life, right? What are those big goals and what's holding you back? And how can we as a family maybe inspire you, help you? You see our mistakes. You say, okay, don't do that. Maybe you see some of our successes and say, hey, that's something that I can follow. So we want to help you and inspire you to achieve your God-given uh, God goals and talents as well. All right, guys, again, we thank you for, for tuning in. Thank you if you subscribe to our channel. We really, really, really appreciate it. Share it with someone that you think may benefit from it. And we look forward to hearing from you in our comments section. Let us know what your goals are. And uh, stay tuned to see what's up with the Murph Squad next. If you've never played Secret Hiller, it's a really cool game. It's actually free. You can print it out. So we're going to get back to our board game, guys. All right, see you in the next episode. Two fa or one fascist, but two fascist total. I'm like, what if Dad gets Hitler and he has to go, oh, yeah. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life, yeah. Welcome to my life, welcome to my life.